Hi, this is Eric the Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the flip switch on your Whirlpool dishwasher. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool dishwasher brands, including KitchenAid, Magtek, Jenner, Amana, and more. The float switch is designed to prevent the dishwasher from overfilling with water. If the dishwasher begins to overfill, the float disengages the switch, which then tells the dishwasher to stop taking on water. If the float switch fails, the dishwasher may not fill with water or may overfill. If you need a new float switch for your Whirlpool dishwasher, you can check our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Before starting this repair, disconnect power to the dishwasher. Note this repair can be done with the dishwasher installed. In order to gain access to the float switch, we'll need to remove the access panel, which is held in place by two retainers. The retainers are locked when they are oriented vertically. Using a flathead screwdriver, turn them a quarter turn to the left, releasing the locking mechanism. Now gently pull forward on the panel to remove the retainer. Pull the access panel forward gently, being careful not to rip the insulation. In order to make seeing this repair easier, we have turned the dishwasher onto its back. The float switch is located here in the float housing. To remove, pinch the locking tabs on the housing doors together and swing them open. Then, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab and slide the switch up and out of the retaining slot. To test the float switch, you'll need a multimeter set to the continuity setting. While depressing the switch, touch the probes to either prong. If the multimeter beeps, the switch is good and does not need to be replaced. Now, release the switch and test it again. There should be no beep when the switch is not depressed. If there is, the switch is likely broken or damaged and needs to be replaced. If you need to purchase a new float switch, you can check our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. When purchasing a new float switch, we also recommend inspecting the base gasket for any damage or leaks and replacing if necessary. To install, align the new float switch to the prongs on the housing and press into place. Then, reconnect the electrical connector, route the wire beneath the retainer, and close the housing doors. Now, insert the access panel at an angle. Then, align the notches on the access panel to the slots on the frame and press into place. Align the access panel retainers to the notches on the access panel so that they are oriented horizontally in the unlocked position. Finally, turn them to the right so that they are oriented vertically, securing the access panel in place. And that's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you.